obviously playing a crucial role in the House of Commons. And you had a very central part in this last week's row over the Gaza debate. Um, you filibustered during Therese Coffey's 10-minute rule bill. Did you feel a little bit grubby at the time, being part of that kind of backroom deal, playing your part? I'm not proud of the whole day, or, or for that matter, my own particular role in it. I, I mean, I was painfully conscious that lots of colleagues um, on both sides of the house were very nervous about how the day was going to play out. When I was a Hackney councillor um, many moons ago, we used to take all the amendments during the day. And, and oddly enough, if it had been a government motion, we would have taken all the amendments as well, if the Speaker thought that they were in order. And, and that's kind of where I wanted us to get to that day. I thought that that was the most sensible thing, so that everybody could say, look, um, all right, that's your version of what we should vote for. This is what I've wanted to vote for, and I can get my name against it. Do you think um, the rules should be changed to allow that in future? Okay, yes, completely. And, and in fact, I've, I've argued for some time that one of the things we should do is we, we need a complete revision of the standing orders. The way we do our business in Parliament is terrible. I mean, we brought ourselves terribly into disrepute, I, I think, on Wednesday. But were you put up to that filibuster or did you take it upon yourself? Uh, a bit of both, if, if I'm honest. I think the whole day was grubby. Right. And we need a system which doesn't allow um, people to manipulate the rules to be able to get what they want. Which you did. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway... Um... I'm not saying yes, by the way. That was, that was can, my... But can the Speaker survive all this, do you think? A, I, a, he should survive, and B, I'm sure he will survive. Um, it's a really bad look for governments to try and get rid of Speakers. I've said this in the past. In, 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 in theory, any government can always get rid of the Speaker because it's got a majority well, in the House the of Commons. Though. This is the SNP really leading the charge. You're asking me to comment on what other people in other political parties might do, and I... I have a view, which is that um, I think um, Lindsay did the right thing. I think Lindsay is a good speaker. I think he should remain in post. Chris Bryant, thanks very much. Thank you.